the Valley Boys have bragging rights for the remainder of 2019 after pulling off a win at the New Year's Day John Canoe Parade. Motivated by a results which were not what they had hoped for, the Valley Boys were determined to return to the winner's circle. Our Jimmy DeSwain has their story. The Valley Boys meant business when they returned to Bay Street on New Year's Day with a focused plan to win. The group won the overall parade with an unofficial score of 86.95 points. The theme, we give God thanks and total praise. That was enough to return the group to the winner's circle. For Chairman Brian Adderley, the group is very happy with the unofficial results. Jubilant is the name that I would use. I'm happy for our members and our fans and supporters. Um, they were with us all year. Our members did a lot of hard work in preparation for both Boxing Day and New Year's. We were confident that we had two strong themes to present on Boxing Day and New Year's. And um, um, our only decision this year was whether or not we would have done the New Year's Day theme on Boxing Day and, and switched them around, but we were quite Quite happy with our performance. Um. Judges also awarded the Valley Boys Best Music, Best Choreograph, and Best Overall Performance. For Adderley, all efforts were directed towards winning. The only question was which theme to execute, the celebration of its 60th anniversary or the religious theme. But the group was confident with both. <laughs> to win the Boxing Day Parade, but, you know, we, we celebrated those persons that have made the Valley Boys what it is today. The chairman says some members are already celebrating. Some of our members are very exuberant last night when they heard the results. And we had a good time last night, and, and they deserve it. They work very hard. Um, you'd recall about two years ago, we won the New Year's Day Parade, and those results overturned. <coughs> and we were focused since then um, 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 to return to the winning circle. And so they were determined, they were focused, you would have heard the music and you would have seen the performance. And that's a testament to the hard work that the young women in the Valley Boys um, are accustomed to. As for the music, senior brass member Ron Adderley says the group was not happy with the Boxing Day performance, which meant doubling up and work to snatch the top music prize on New Year's Day. A mission to captivate the New Year's Day parade. So. A day after the results was called, we went into brass practice. Went back to the old gospel hymns like Father Abraham, whisper a prayer, I will bless the Lord. And to see the pleasure on the crowd face was all we wanted to do. There's just over $380,000 up for grabs that pales in comparison to what's injected by troops to get to bed. It takes between 250000 to 350000 for a division to produce two parades. And even, even then, there are some shortfalls because we get funding, as I said, from our corporate sponsors. The government chips in with some seed funding. And hopefully you're successful in winning the parade or winning some of the categories because you need that money to make up your shortfall. Well, the Valley Boys say they plan to do some cleaning up at their shacks and then pay some bills. And then it's time for a grand celebration. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.